Everybody, welcome to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin, your destination for learning classic rock and pop songs on this wonderful little eight-string instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and once again today we are focusing on a pop Christmas classic. Okay, it's not a recent pop Christmas classic, but it certainly is popular and one of my favorite songs to play around the holiday season. It's Walking in a Winter Wonderland. Now, a number of contemporary artists have covered this tune, so I guess you could consider it a popular recent classic, but really it was written a number of years ago, and it's been played by, well, many, many very famous artists over the years. I'm going to show you how to do it on the mandolin. It's a lot of fun, and there's some cool little chords and licks in there, some jazzy chords and licks in there that you'll uh, really enjoy learning for this pop Christmas classic. But first, before we look at the song, a little bit of business. If you are new here to the channel, thank you very much for checking out RPM. We really appreciate it. But don't forget, hit that little subscriber button, that little red tab there in the lower right corner before you leave us. Perhaps you're going to check out some other videos on the channel. I really hope you do. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much once again for coming back to this channel. We really appreciate your support. But if you'd like to offer a little bit more support, maybe financially kicking in a few bucks, please check out our Patreon links down below. Also, Amazon links for products that I endorse and get a slight commission from. But now, without further waiting, without further ado, let's take a look at this great pop Christmas classic, Walking in a Winter Wonderland, here on RPM. All right, let's check out Walking in a Winter Wonderland, or just Winter Wonderland, as the song is actually called. It's a great song for you to play on the mando, as I mentioned, and lots of cool jazz licks and chords. Starts off with this little pattern in the key of D. All right, and then it goes right to that part, and so on. So what are those cool little licks right off the top in the key of D? Well, yeah, as I mentioned, I'm playing this in the key of D. I've seen the song played in many different keys. I'm not actually sure what the original key was. I think maybe F or perhaps C, but on the mandolin, it works really nicely with this open D chord. So I'm playing it in D, okay? So here you go, just your open D chord, just an up and down uh, strumming pattern to begin with. One, two, three, and... Right, so what I'm doing there is I'm hitting the D, letting it ring out, and then I'm, I'm catching the fourth fret of the D string here, which is an F sharp note, so... And then I'm going up to the A note, like that. So... All right, that's pretty easy. And then I shift to... And I'm not actually sure what chord that is, uh, but the fingering is the 6th fret here of the G string, and the same as before, the 4th fret of the D, and that open A. Um, anyway, it's a fun chord that works nicely coming off of that opening D. So one more time. And there's a nice little staccato-y kind of strumming pattern there. So. So it's like, right there. All right, that's your little staccato part. So one more time, D, 
fourth fret and here. From there you go to the signature part, which goes. Okay, so what is that? Well, I'm going from here. It's actually an A chord to an E minor. All right, so your A chord here, second fret of the G, second fret of the D, and fourth fret of the A, so. And then you're going down to this note and this note here, the second frets of these two middle strings, E minor, okay? So like that. Then you're gonna scoot up to catch this A chord and to an A7, which is really cool. So I'm playing this chord here with the fourth fret of the A string, the seventh fret of the D string, and the sixth fret here of the G string. All right, so one more time. And then here. Now I do this one a little bit differently. I'm playing a little A7 chord here from, but I'm also leaving that A note open now to ring out nicely on that A7 chord. So again, you're still at the sixth fret of the G string, and now you're catching that fifth fret of the D string. That's a true A7 chord, all right? So like that. From there, I've seen two variations um, of the last part of this section. So, right, so the, I do it like this, fourth fret of the G string, fourth fret of the D, right? I guess that's a B chord. You could even play a B minor there, but I just prefer these two strings there. So, so you're doing fourth fret, fourth fret only, and then second fret, second fret only, which is an A chord, right? So, and to a D, and on that D again. So one more time, that whole part, the whole part goes, Those are the verses and the choruses of the song. Pretty easy, I think. Um, from there, though, you go to a little in the meadow, be a snowman, right? You pretend he is Parson Brown. Sorry about the vocals here, but that is an F sharp chord. Okay, so that looked a little difficult, and it is a little bit tricky. I'm doing a cool little F sharp thing here, again from that sixth fret of the G. That's our most popular note in this song, right? It's a C sharp note. And then I'm also hitting that F sharp again at the fourth fret, okay? And then the C sharp up here, right? So six, four, four. And I'm kind of doing it like this. catch that pattern so I'm just basically locking down this chord like a bar chord on the guitar and I'm doing the octaves with the C sharp note from here on the G string to there fourth fret of the A string you can also hit the F sharp as a double stop as well if you want to go So I'm going. You catch that? So this note here, sixth fret up to the high one. And again, I'm using the F sharp as a double stop there too, I guess. So, so double stop here on the sixth fret of the G and the fourth fret of the D, and then up to that fourth fret of the A. So down on down. And then you go to the sixth fret of the A. And you just catch that you kind of use your pinky finger here. So I'm leaving this, this chord locked down like a bar chord. And I'm just adding my little finger in there like that. And you want to hit it twice there. All right, 
so that's a really cool little pattern you can play over the bridge part. Then it moves down to the A and does kind of a similar thing. All right, this is a little bit tricky. So I've got the A chord again locked down, second fret, second fret, fourth fret. And again, I'm doing kind of a low to high sort of thing here. So I'm going up to that C sharp note again, but this time from the low A with a double stop here. So two, two, and four. So like that. Okay, so that's a little tricky. It's from that, that note there, right? But I'm using my ring finger and I'm going so five, four, open A and keeping that chord down here as well. So one more time. Like that. And then from there you go back to So one more time. All right, so what are those chords? Well, after this, you're gonna do the A, and then an E major, which is first fret, second fret, second fret. The key note is there, so. Those are the key melody notes, right, in this part, so. And then back to an A chord. And then slide up to that A7 again. Sixth fret, fifth fret, open A. It's a really nice little transition chord back to the... One more time, the bridge part goes... And the F sharp... To A... A, E, A, A7, and back to... To the main part of the song. And that is it. That is Winter Wonderland or Walking in a Winter Wonderland. It's a great song to play on the mandolin. Really fun. It's uh, actually a little bit tricky at times, but you can certainly get it if you practice. And it's uh, it sounds great on the mandolin. I think the mandolin is built perfectly for songs like this. So thank you very much for checking out this tutorial, this Christmas pop classic. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be putting out more Christmas pop classic tutorial videos in the coming days, so please look out for them. If you are new here, please hit that subscriber button down there in the lower right corner. Thanks for checking us out. And if you are a returning subscriber, thanks once again for your ongoing support. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks once again for tuning in to RPM.